All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> I, I should have started this at the beginning, but this was just a little project. Um, making a hood scoop for this uh, Mustang hood in the other room. This hood that Jaden uh, did the body work on, fixed it up so nice. Uh, remember I talked to you on the Zoom meeting, we're gonna hang it from the ceiling of the shop. Um, and this whole, the whole reason we got this hood was for the hood scoop for somebody else's project. But um, he did such a good job straightening the hood, we're gonna get him to sign it, hang it from the ceiling. But I wanted to build something to cover that hole up. And I had some scrap aluminum laying around which led to this project. I was just goofing off and the piece of loon on my head just happened to be the right, or close enough to the right width. I put it in the, the sheet metal brake back there and bent the sides down and it fits on that hood perfectly. Now what I've done is we've got to cut it, angle it back because we're going to make it look very close to what the factory one looked like. So now I've, I've, I've marked this, I've got to cut that off same on both sides. Now, what I've done here is I have clamped uh, a straight edge, basically. It's a piece of angle iron. There is some, since this is aluminum, it would bend real easy. So I have underneath some two by fours so that the, the vice grip clamps don't bend this up too bad. I believe I'm gonna use a cutoff wheel to cut this line on both sides. And then I think I'm gonna use a body saw and use this as a fence to guide a nice straight cut. We'll see, that may change. But I figured, you know what, I'm gonna make a quick little video about this and it may give you guys some ideas. All right. Now the problem with cutting aluminum uh, is it clogs up whatever you're using. This isn't the optimum thing to cut this with, but it's what we got. And I'm gonna... <coughs> so we're gonna see how this goes. intentionally cut on this side of the line because I can always file it and sand it smooth later. So that, that worked out fairly well. I'll do the same thing to the other side, but I don't think you need to see that. I'm gonna try and keep this down to a real short video. Now I cut the other side. I'm gonna make a little cut going this way with this cutoff wheel to give me a spot. I think I'm gonna cut the rest of it with a body saw. <laughs> Okay, the only thing I did here was I, I switched the clamps. It was, it was coming out this way. I moved them this way to get out of the way of this body saw. And here we go. I know you can't see it, but there's a brace underneath it there so I don't bend this up. Hopefully that'll help out here. I got this welding blanket sitting up here trying to absorb some of the vibration. It's helping a little, I think. It's not exactly straight, but it's fine. I, I tried to hold it up against this as best I could. Now I'm going to file the edge straight. Like I said, you can see how it's hung over a little bit, and that's fine. I wasn't trying to make that the, the finished product. I just wanted to get it close. Um, now I'm going to get, I think I, we got a little belt sander, mini belt sander. I don't think many of you students have ever seen it. And I think I'm going to use that. See, it, all the jagged edges, but... uh. I think it's turning out pretty good. Okay, this is a little mini belt sander and it works great for filing stuff like this. So let's see how, let's see how this goes. Now, 
since this is aluminum, this is steel, it, it will stop when I hit it. I mean, unless I keep right on bearing on it. It is saying this too, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to stop as soon as I hit that, hit that edge. So let me change this camera up a little bit. Okay, here we go. Uh, unclamp this thing, see what we got. All right. Looks pretty good. I'm going to do a little, a little filing. Well, let's go, let's go set it on there for a minute. See what we got. It. See what it's looking like. All right. Let's see what we got. Now, none of this is final. We'll do some tweaking to it. <laughs> that looks pretty good, doesn't it? I tell you, I think uh, I think I'm just going to clean that up and, and go with it. I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to um, make a little brace right here. Something, I'll figure that out. But it's looking pretty good. All right, I got another few minutes to work on this hood scoop. I, I ran tape around the edge of this hood just so I don't scratch this paint up as the edges of this thing are really sharp. Um, so I can set it down. Now, there's a concave that, you know, that it's convex actually. Uh, the hood's like that. So if you can see, there's a gap in the back. See that? And a gap in the front. It's kind of hard to see. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna trace it so that we can cut the arch in that scoop. Hopefully you'll be able to tell what I'm doing here. Okay. I had to take a little lacquer thinner. This thing had a, a black marker line on it from where I used to, to, to cut this. Um, and it was gonna make it hard to see what I was doing for you and me. Now, normally carpentry, they would use this little, it's like a compass actually, have a pencil in one end and you know the little, you would make circles with it. Well, carpentry use them, they call them a scribe. And see how there's a gap? Uh, hopefully you can see that. It's kind of hard to tell, but there's a gap probably 3 16 of an inch there and there because of the arch in the hood. So what I'm gonna do is, I. This just so happens to have a chisel point on it, and I'm going to put it right there, and it just so happens, if I hold this the same against this hood, and I scribe all the way down, you see how there's an arch in that line? Now, if everything goes right, if I cut on that line, Cut that off when I get done. This hood scoop should fit flat against that hood. <laughs> We're gonna find out. All right, what I've done is I put a piece of quarter inch masking tape uh, over top of that line, um, and it gives me a, a bolder line. And I'm gonna use that. Uh, I'm gonna use this um, belt sander to file that, rather than try and cut that off. That I can take my time and file it. Um, I'm gonna get one side done and then I'll film a little bit of the other side, but hopefully when I'm done, it should sit on that hood perfectly. Okay, if you can see that, all right. Um, I'm on the line. I'm actually gonna take a sanding block with some 180 and I'm gonna finish it off and straighten it up. Well, you know, take the little ripples out of it with that. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. There's no need for you to watch that. 
Now I'm just gonna take a sanding block and true it up. Just get the, get the little ripples out of it with this. That'd be boring to watch. So just take my word for it, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, we're gonna see if this thing fits together. I haven't had it on there yet. So like I said, we'll find out. I guess if it don't fit, I can edit it out and tell you I hit it perfect the first time. I wouldn't do that. So we're gonna see how this worked out. Perfect. Well, as close to perfect as you're gonna get. Let me, let me take this, uh, let me take this off. There we go. See, gap is gone. You can tell there's a slight, slight bow in it. Pretty good, let's go check the other side. I'll bolt that, once I bolt that down. Oh yes, that's nice. All right guys, now, trying to decide what kind of finish I'm gonna put on there. I'm kind of liking the look of it, this raw aluminum. I think I might just buzz this down with some like 180 or 320 and give it a brushed look. We'll see what that looks like. I can always paint it if that doesn't work out. Okay, uh, the first thing I'm gonna try, this thing's got some, like I said, this is scrap aluminum. So it's got some bad gouges. I'm gonna start out with some 180 on a DA and I'm gonna try and get those to sand smooth and then try and give this thing a satin aluminum finish. But we'll see how that goes. All right, this is 180 on a DA. I'm gonna, first I'm gonna concentrate on getting these gouges out of here. I think that might work. I'm gonna put it on time lapse here. Well, it it really turned out nice. It looks good. Um, and as cool as it looks, being so you know raw aluminum, and I could I could go to finer grits and everything, and I could actually polish it. But I think it needs to go like satin black or shiny black. So I think I'm gonna have to paint it. I just wanted to take a minute and film a quick outro to this video. It kind of came to an abrupt end. I'm gonna go ahead and paint that hood scoop. I'll make another quick short video on that. Don't know what color I'm gonna be painting it exactly, but I um, hope you're enjoying it so far. Thanks guys.